So in this video, we are going to solve a static analysis problem using Abacus. And I chose this kind of a funny problem. So there is a monkey sitting on a bar and we are going to model this problem. So as you can see over here, I just simplified this diagram. So there is a cantilever beam and the dimensions of that beam are given over here. All dimensions are in meters and we will assume monkey is applying uniform force over this area. These are the material parameters for wood and this is the pressure applied by monkey. So this is the first example in series and we are going to model bending of 3D beam. Let's start. So first start abacus select with standard and implicit model. Then the first thing you should always do is set working directory. So this is the folder where all your abacus files will be generated. So you can create a new folder and select that folder. So I'm choosing this folder. Now you can see there is a model tree over here and I always like to go in a sequence. So just start with the first thing part. So let's model part first. So first to create part, you have to click over here. Then let's give name to this part. I'm going to say beam. So select 3D deformable solid with extrusion. So approximate size, let's give one. Now first you have to create a rectangle. So this is the rectangle tool. Click on this. Now you can either enter coordinates over here or you can just click over here. So let's go with the coordinates. So I will enter here 0 comma 0. That will be first corner, one corner and then 0 0.1 comma 0 0.1. This will be second corner. Then just click middle click, which is done. Then it will ask you for the depth. So depth we want one meters. So this is our beam. Now next part is property. So in property we will create material. So you have to click this to create material. Then the name of our material is wood. Then you have to go to mechanical, elasticity and elastic. We are just going to assume it is linear elastic material. So Young's modulus is 8 into 10 raised to 9 pascals. So we are keeping units, meters and pascal and Poisson's ratio we are assuming 0 0.3. I know it is not the real Poisson's ratio for wood, but we are just assuming it. Click OK. Then next thing what you have to do is you have to create a section. So to create a section, click over here. Now I will give the name as wooden section and then solid homogeneous. Click continue. It will ask you for material. So now we have only one material. So by default, it will be selected. Just say OK. And finally, assign section. So click on this. And then you have to select the part which you want to assign wooden section to. So select over here and then say done. It will ask over here which section. Again, we have only one section. So by default, it will be populated. Say OK. And then part should turn kind of greenish. That means we are good. So next thing is assembly. So in assembly, we have to create instance of that part. Just click on instance and then there is only one part. Click OK. Instance is created. Next thing is step. This is the create step button. Just click this. Now we are going to create a static step. So I'm going to name this also as static. And here you have to select static general. So static step means we are not considering inertia or any time dependence. So time period, just keep it as one. Keep all the values as default as of now. You don't have to change anything. So just click OK. Now next thing is load. So in load now we want to fix this end and we want to apply pressure over here because our monkey is sitting here. Now to apply pressure over here, first we have to create a partition to identify on which area we want to apply pressure. So for that, let's go back to part. Now in part, you can choose partition face by sketch. So what we are going to do is we are going to select this face, the top face, and we are going to make a partition over here. And this area will be where we will apply pressure. So just click the top surface, say done. Then it will ask you select an edge or axis that will appear vertical and on the right. So that you have to select this axis. So it will just align the part so you can sketch easily. Now you have to select this line tool 
and remember we just want to make a square over here you can see over here we want x coordinate 0 0.4 and we just want to keep that x coordinate 0 0.4 then again click the middle button one more time say done and you can see there is a partition so we will apply pressure over here now let's go to load so in load first we want to fix this so you can just rotate this we want to fix this side so create a boundary condition over here go to initial now name this boundary condition as fixed end over here select this end cast ray we want to <coughs> fix this side so just continue then select this side say done and over here choose the last option so that means u1 u2 u3 all the degrees of freedom are zero which means it is fixed say okay and now we have to apply pressure over here so for that create load and here i will name it monkey so to apply pressure you have to go to second step which is static what we created and here select pressure mechanical pressure continue select this area say done and value of pressure in our case is 30000 pascal say okay so you can see over here pressure so now you can see our beam is fixed over here and there is a pressure over here in downward direction okay next step is meshing so go to mesh module now our mesh has to be on the part so just click on the part over here and then you will see part will become green so this green part means it is going to be a structured mesh so that's a good thing you don't have to worry anything about that go to mesh over here and go to element type and then select this part and click done so abacus will select appropriate element type according to your step but this is just to confirm so this is a 3d stress element standard linear so keep everything default you don't have to change anything over here click ok then we have to seed the part so this is a seed part so over here seed means how fine mesh you want so i'm going to go with 0 0.01 apply so you can see this fine the mesh will be so say ok and then mesh part say yes done now the last step is go to job so in this case you don't have to worry about this interaction optimization just go to job directly over here create job so i'm going to name it as example one continue don't change anything over here just say okay and you will see job will get created over here so if you click on this sign you can see example one over here so now we have done everything so just right click on this and say submit and it will say submitted you can also monitor the progress so to do that again right click on this and go to monitor so over here you can see the progress of simulation so firstly it will do pre-processing and now abacus standard is started so that is the solver and our job is very small so it is finished very quickly so then dismiss this and to see results right click again on this and go to results so this is a visualization module so over here if you want to see deformed shaped you have to click on this plot contours on deformed shape the wooden beam is bended because of weight of the monkey so this one as of now is showing stress so that you can set over here this s is stress and we are seeing mice stress so how the stress distribution is over here you can see you can see the values and if you want to see a displacement you have to go to u so this is the magnitude of displacement so you can see the end of the beam is displaced by 1.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 meters 
so that means around 1.4 millimeter that makes sense because monkey's weight is not that much right and then if you go to your previous folder which you set as working directory you can see all these files are generated over here so the important file out of this is this one odb file so this has all the results and just one thing to remember is this shape is over exaggerated so if you click over here in common options you can see the deformation scale factor it is 71 whatever deformation of beam is happening it's exaggerated 71 times you can set it to one and then you will see the actual deformation so that is negligible because beam is one meter and displacement is one millimeter so this is just for visualization purposes so that's it for today if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together for example let's say if you are interested in ansys tutorials you can go to this ansys tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist all the codes and files which i use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's github profile the link of this profile is given in the description box below if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching